Right now is Wisconsin Senator Ron Johnson. Senator, it's good to see you tonight. Thanks very much for joining us. Assess all of these oh, executive orders. How has the Senate been under Joe Biden's presidency? Well, he doesn't need the Senate. He's just uh, using his pen and phone, I guess. Uh, he's just flooding the zone, and he's just satisfying every desire of the radical left wing of his party. He's not moderate at all. And I, I don't know, he said, you know, we have to uh, call out the lies. You know, what you just played in, in the lead up to this interview sounded like a lie to me when he said that he was going to, you know, not be a dictator. He was going to actually you know, utilize the Senate and try and get the votes. He hasn't tried to get any vote whatsoever so far in terms of policy. So what, what strikes you the most in terms of these uh, policies that we're seeing through executive order? I want to get to uh, the Biden family in a moment. But first, tell me about the executive orders and where you see the biggest issue. Today, of course, it was about health care. Well, as the former chairman of Homeland Security, Government Affairs Committee, we, we spent so much time looking at uh, our completely broken border and what we need to do to fix it. And, of course, President Trump went a long way toward stopping the, in, the, the surge in unaccompanied children and family units uh, taking a very dangerous journey. We, we had not completely solved that problem, but we had truly mitigated it. Uh, we were building the fence, and he, here President Biden comes along and starts undoing all of the progress we had made. And we're going to see another humanitarian disaster. We're, we're seeing that we saw 9,000 people try and get through uh, Guatemala from Honduras. It's sounding like another care van, van is forming. Uh, they may come in smaller groups, but they will come because they realize they're going to be able to stay because uh, it's going to be open border policy. It's going to be catch and release. It's going to be a disaster. Yeah. Well, this really hits to people's worries about security. Look what has happened with the end of cash bail uh, in, in New York. You're seeing shootings up in the double digits. You're seeing crime rising. We just don't know who's coming in. No, we're going to find out what liberal policies impact is on everyday American lives. And it's not going to be pretty. It's, it's, again, we won't have border security. We're, we're seeing murder rates increase dramatically in Democrat-controlled cities. Uh, th this is going to continue. It, it's, it's not going to be good, Maria. It's not going to be good. Senator, let me, let me move on to the Biden family, apparently still using Joe and Joe's name for business. Look at this uh, ad that Joe Biden's brother has been promoting. This is Frank Biden, uh, and he's promoting his relationship to his brother, the commander-in-chief, in an Inauguration Day advertisement for the law firm that he advises. Frank Biden is a non-attorney senior advisor for the Berman Law Group. In an email, he says he's not used his brother's name to gain clients, and yet there's an ad out right now and was around the uh, uh, inauguration uh, bragging that his brother is the commander-in-chief. This is way too reminiscent of what we saw with Hunter Biden, whereas he was gaining relationships, getting paid for it from international companies because of the influence that his, his father commanded. Well, Biden, Inc. is still in business. And, Maria, I just ask you, what does a senior non-attorney advisor do in a law firm? He makes connections. He peddles his influence. And there was another report, by the way, that Hunter Biden was, you know, apparently he was supposed to give up all his ownership in these uh, Chinese companies. But a report came out uh, yesterday that the city still apparently has his 10 percent stake in BHR, that private equity firm in China. Uh, that ought to be very troubling. I, I haven't heard him deny that. Uh, uh, I'm hoping it's not true, because, again, that that raises so many troubling counterintelligence, extortion types of threats. Uh, the, again, Biden, Inc. is back in business if it ever went out, and I don't think it ever did. Of course, we can't talk about this on social media because you will be labeled, you will be attacked because you're talking about a truthful story. 